welcome. We're live at the Guiana Space Centre for the fourth launch this year from the European Spaceport on the edge of the Amazon. There's Ariane on the pad going through the final preparations before launch. Yes, hello and welcome. And on board today we have two passengers, Eckerd Star 17 for Hughes Network Systems and MSG3 for UMEDSAT. And right now everything is green, so all the systems are go for launch. Ariane 5 is a big, strong, reliable workhorse. She's actually divided into three main sections, we call them stages. Yes, we have the solid rocket boosters, we have a height of 31.6 meters, 278 tons. The main cryogenic stage is 31 meters high, with a mass of 188 tons. It burns the Vulcan 2 engine. And the upper stage, the upper cryogenic stage, at a height of 4.71 meters, it weighs 19 tons. And that structure at the top of the vehicle, the pointy structure, is the fairing. It's 17 metres high and it weighs 2.8 tonnes. A tous, le DDO, attention pour le décompte final. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, unité. against the gravity of the Earth. We've rotated to the east. We're heading out over the Atlantic. We're burning three engines, the Vulcan, which uh, we did light on the ground, but actually it's those two boosters which are doing all the work here. In fact, their job's really to get us away from the gravity of the Earth, isn't it? Yes, the boosters are providing 90% of a thrust right now, and each booster is burning two tons of propellant per second. To give you an idea, if you fill your car once a week, that's how much gas you'd lose in a year. And we're just hearing it. We're 15 kilometres from the pad, Simon. We're just getting the sound of uh, the launcher as it flies over. In fact, we can even feel the vibrations, can't we? It'll take a little while for the sound to get you, though, doesn't it? Well, like you say, 15 kilometres from the pad, but we do feel it. And of course, those in launch control, they too will certainly be feeling this. Uh, it's quite sensational. We you can see the trajectory. Just talk us through that briefly. Yes, uh, the curve, this is a computer simulation of the actual trajectory. The white dot on the curve, that's the actual position of the launch vehicle right now. The V means the velocity, and the A means the altitude. Now we can see those boosters separating and um, heading back down to Earth. Basically, they've burnt all their fuel. We don't need them anymore, and there they are. We're losing weight. Yes, we've lost about three quarters of our weight, in fact, in just over the two minutes. The lighter we are, the more efficient we are, and the faster we can go. Absolutely, and that's why we jettison parts throughout the flight once we no longer need them. So now the main stage is doing all the work. We can see it. That's the dot in the middle of the, uh, the two boosters there. Now, the fairing is... Uh, we're effectively technically in space, and you can see it, they're falling in two parts back down to Earth. We don't need it anymore because, of course, there's no friction in space. Indeed, yes. The atmosphere is about 100 kilometers uh, deep. Any remaining gas up there, it's so thin, the satellites are now safe from the effects of the atmosphere. That's Echo Star 17 at the front, and MSG3 is behind, but we can't actually see it yet. No, that's right. It's hidden underneath that black structure, what we call the cylinder, and it's designed especially to enable Ariane to launch two satellites at the same time. The engine has switched off because it's burnt all its propellants and it's now jettisoning the main stage. The, we're igniting the upper stage. Well, certainly are. We started with 780 tons and now we have approximately 28 tons left. So that's about 3% of our original mass. We're now burning the upper stage and its job is to deliver the satellites to their transfer orbits, which is the position in space where they can separate from the launcher. And we now have separation um, of Echo Star 17. A new baby is born. Congratulations to everybody at Hughes and at Space Systems Launch. 